Hello and welcome to this Dr. Osmas key skill video on finding the coordinates of a vertex of a square given the three other coordinates. Now vertex is just a posh word for corner. So we're given three of the points of a square and we want to find the fourth point of that square and then find the coordinates, i.e. the position of that fourth point of the square. Now let's just first complete the square. You might be able to just sort of visually see it, but basically if you have a square, whatever the movement is from here to here, so from here to here, at the top of the square we want to make the same movement because if I just draw a square, can you see the movement from this point to this point will be the same as what you have to move to get from this point to this point. So let's see from this point to this point what we're doing. Well, we're going three squares across and one square up. So three squares across, one up. So from this point P here, we're going to do the same thing. We go three squares across, three squares to the right, and one up. And we get to this point. And then let's just check that. If we draw that, you can see, voila, we do indeed have a square. Awesome. So all we need to do now is to read off the coordinate of that point. And by the way, we should probably label this. This is a square PQRS, so PQRS, that must be S. And what's the coordinate? Well, remember, when we write our coordinate, we always work out the X value first and then the Y value. And we put the coordinate in brackets with a comma in the middle. So what's the X value? Let's look along the X axis, this line here. So we start from the origin, the point zero, zero, where these two lines cross. And to get to S, we can see that it's 2 on the x-axis, so it's 2 to here. And then on the y-axis, we can see the y-value is 3 at that point. So the x-value was 2, and then the y-value we can see here is 3. And that's the final answer.